Hey team, I'm Maddie. Welcome to Science Side Up. And today we are talking about dew point. All right, guys. So dew point is still in our theme of water vapor and humidity and how we talk about all this stuff. Cause turns out that is real important for the atmosphere and for understanding weather. So what dew point is, it is, Okay, if we take the air as it is right now, right? Um, and it has some amount of water vapor in it, and it's clearly not saturated this exact minute because I'm not standing in a cloud. So I have some unsaturated air, you know, here. So dew point temperature for this air would be the, the temperature at which if I take this air parcel and I don't change how much water is in it and I, I can magically cool it down, the temperature at which it will hit saturation is its dew point temperature. Hopefully you remember this graph from our video on saturation. My X axis is temperature, my Y axis is mixing ratio, and the curve is saturation. So let's imagine that the air in this room that is unsaturated lives somewhere about here on the graph below my saturation curve. Then dew point temperature would be, boop, 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 the temperature where if I draw a straight horizontal line through this point, so at my constant mixing ratio, see where I cross saturation and then this temperature there is dew point. Obviously I can't actually control the water vapor in the air, right? But especially over the course of a day, temperature is going to vary a lot more than how much water is in the air, right? Temperature, it's, it's, it gets cold at night and hot at noon. And while the water vapor is going to change some, it's not going to change by nearly as much. So dew point is pretty useful for things like forecasts, right? We usually think of dew point as in terms of overnight, will temperature cool down to dew point or not? That can tell us stuff about like road conditions in the morning, things like that. So I've got a quick little homework question for you. Answer will be at the very end of the video. Um, just think through what conditions do I need for there to be frost on the ground in the morning. So what two things need to be true about temperature and how it changes overnight for there to be frost when I wake up? This is all great for our conceptual understanding of what is going on, but let's get down to a little bit of math for how do we calculate dew point. So this is a lot. But this is dew point is C times this function gamma divided by B minus that same function. And gamma is a function of temperature and relative humidity. It equals this gross nasty thing where um, my B, C, and D there, those are experimentally determined constants. So this is gross and hard to use. So we actually have a rule of thumb that is pretty good for most things you or I would be interested in. Don't mind as I keep my notes in my hand. You can get pretty close to dew point temperature by taking current temperature minus 100 minus relative humidity divided by five. Note that your temperature here should be in Celsius. Okay team, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you liked this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye team. All right, guys, so your homework question was, what are the conditions that you need for frost? So the first thing that you need is for over the course of the night, temperature to drop to its dew point temperature because we need to develop that moisture on the ground. The second thing that we need is for dew point temperature to be below freezing. So I want this point here to be at or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius.